Hey guys, what's up? So the update on the official server is finally here. If you don't like reading long patch notes, then this video is for you. Here is a recap of the update. First is Moskov. His passive skill now deals more damage in the early game. His ultimate is revamped. It will no longer pass through enemies. It can slow the target and deal higher damage against the enemies that are behind the first target. Next is Johnson. His Nitro is finally here. You'll need to hold the skill while in ultimate form to speed up. Next is Brody. His early game damage is nerfed by making his basic attack scale with level. His critical damage won't hurt as hard as before because a part of his basic attack damage is no longer included in the critical damage calculation. Will he finally be free from the ban list? Next is Fanny. They lowered the energy cost of her cables by one point at all levels. Her long-awaited buff has finally come. Next is Matilda. They lowered the early game damage of her first skill. But they added a new feature where you can see the range of her first skill. The enemy can see it as well. They also adjusted the shield by increasing its magic power scaling but lowering its duration. The shield will now last for 3 seconds instead of 4. And the wisps from her ultimate will now deal higher damage. Next is Carmilla. She can now steal less defense from her passive skill. The damage from her first skill is lowered as well as its heal. But they increased its slow effect allowing you to slow an enemy for up to 50%. Her second skill now has higher movement speed and longer duration. Link targets from her ultimate will now receive more damage. This update improved her support skills at the cost of damage and survivability. Next is Link. They had to lower the buff they gave last week. Instead of getting 2 points of energy region, he will now only get 1. It's still a buff if we ignore the last week's patch. Next is Hanabi. She will now gain faster shield because of the higher lifesteal to shield conversion ratio. And they also added 5% more to her shield limit. Next is Grump. They increased the physical attack scaling of his first skill. But remember you need to use attack items to fill this buff. And they also increased the HP region when he is near a wall. Next is Lapu Lapu. The shield he gets from his passive skill is now lower by 150 points. And the extra defense from his ultimate is lowered by 30 points at max level. This means he isn't as tanky as before. The only good news is that you can now see the range of the third phase of his ultimate. Next is Balmond. They lowered the cooldown of his first skill and adjusted the slow effect as well as its duration. Next is Uranus. He now has higher HP region from his passive, but in exchange, they remove the slow immunity after using his ultimate. Next is Jawhead. They adjusted his HP stats by making it lesser in the early game. They made this adjustment to better fit his fighter role instead of tap. Next is Popol and Koopa. His traps will now deal magic damage just like this. Next is Aldus. You can now tap the hero icon when using his ultimate. Previously, you needed to drag the skill to choose your target. Next are the battlefield adjustments. The turtle's defense will now scale with time. It means it's easier to kill in the early game but harder as the game goes on. They added a spare equipment feature in the preparation. You can see this here when on the battlefield. Last one is the matchmaking optimization. It is optimized throughout all the servers. The rest of the patch are bug fixes which we've covered from the advanced server updates. So what can you say about the update? Which part did you like the most? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.